So I remember while we were lying in the hospital, members of the top management of the company came to visit us, the top senior guys. And they said that on the way to the hospital, they had actually passed through the plant. They went to visit the site where the accident happened. <laughs> they finally made it there. And they said, you know what? We couldn't see what went wrong. There's no evidence. There's no residue. What actually hurt you blokes? Which I used to sort of indicate that, you know, in this industry that we work in, in this game, it doesn't take much to cause major havoc. Because who knows, it might have been a litre or two of material that sprayed out over us. They couldn't see any of it. And the other thing I point this out for is, the other reason is, is that what they decided to do after that was they decided that because everyone that seemed to know anything about the design and the construction and the operation and the maintenance of that sort of facility was now lying in the hospital, they decided to get out of that business completely. So that tall tower, 40 meters up in the sky, 10 meters diameter of concrete structure with fans and pumps and valves and pipes and drums and elevators and conveyors and you name it, it had it. Gone. Our own ground zero. Gone. And there I was, do you remember, on the night, calling out to old Vaynant Beitel. I said, Vaynant, be careful with that flow meter. It cost a fortune. Thousands. This plant was not worth millions. It was worth tens of millions, maybe hundreds of millions. Today, replacement, they're doing it up in, down at uh, Quinana and spoken about up at Karatha. Hundreds of millions in today's money. And there, I was worried about the value of that flow meter. And we didn't have those few extra minutes. I mean, between us, there was four of us. We all had, between us, probably more than a half a century, between a half a century and a centuries of experience on that sort of plant. And it was a whole range of us. It wasn't just, it was hands-on operations personnel, first-line supervisors. There was technical management there, chemical, uh, mechanical development management, people that had come from Nottingham University, the University of Cape Town, you heard Mark telling. There was a whole gang of us, Scottish, Ron Petty, working over East, between us. And it was a blockage, for goodness sake, a blockage. I ask you. So I would like to ask you at the end of the day, could something like this ever happen to any of you? Or at your workplaces? And what have you folks got in place that might prevent something like this happening to you? Thank you. sharing such a uh, personal story and a really terrific way to, uh, to finish up the day. You, uh, you rounded off everything we've done today very nicely. Thank you very much.